Hi guys, it's Blackie. Okay, in a recent video, I did a video where I showed how to tie a expandable or adjustable length with a Prusik knot, guy line, cinch cord, etc. And I've had several guys ask me questions, or several ladies too, ask me questions. And we've come up with some ideas, and I wanted to share those ideas with you. And also a couple other things on the toggles and a few other things. So we'll consider this kind of like uh, the toggle addendum, a little extra, okay? Now, first off, for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, let me dig out of here. I have my ridge line set up. We'll get to that in a minute. And then we've got this adjustable set up. Now, what this is, is a length of cord that has a Prusik knot and then the cord comes around and goes back through itself so you can adjust the length of it and then when you pull it tight that um, Prusik bites down and makes it a given length and then I've got two saw shackles on this end. I have had people ask me would this work as an adjustable ridge line? Could you make two of these to be the part that goes around the tree? Because you would simply uh, go around the tree and then use the attached toggle to come through the loop and cinch it up. So I would have an adjustable tree connector. Could I go around and hook this to the tree and have my ridge line hooked to this? Where I go chunk and be done. And then could the ridge line be made up of this as well. So I could go from like 20 feet out to maybe 30 feet by adjusting it because it would be a long continuous loop where it would just be go around and cinch it to the tree and then cinch your ridge line up a little tighter for whatever. Yes, it does work like that. You can do it. So if you absolutely wanted to use like the soft shackles in it, you could make a ridge line the problem is knowing how big the tree is going to be ahead of time. That's where this adjustable line, this cinch strap, comes in so handy because I can just quickly adjust it to fit the tree and then cinch it up tight where it's not just a ridiculous length of cord to adjust to any tree. I can cinch it down short to have a small diameter tree that big or I can open it up almost all the way right there to have a much bigger diameter tree all by adjustable yes that will work and I had one gentleman out of Canada sent me that and said this is perfect because he goes into these forests he said most of these trees are roughly the same age in this area because it's a, a cultivated forest and so he says they're all about the same diameter I just set this up and I go around and go click pull tight click pull tight and my ridge lines up and it can be load-bearing so hey that works. Could you make these to hold a hammock up? Same idea. Yes, you could make these like big adjustable soft shackles to hold up a hammock. There is no limit, guys. Your application will vary greatly from mine. But the bottom uh, deal is there is no limit. Uh, this is one of those ideas that's really taken off. I've probably had 100 to 200 emails from various people that are doing various things with this idea of one guy wanted it for a way to cinch things up to his pack one guy was using it as a way to make an adjustable uh, sling onto a piece of gear he had one guy was using it in mountain climbing to be able to hook things with so he could adjust at the bottom of the hill it's this big and as he goes up he can cinch it tighter and tighter and tighter by choking it up and he got Flaps. He says probably hated, hated with the uh, cinch straps because they go to flapping in the breeze and you always got to tie them up or bind them up. So this way I just shorten it up and rehook it. So, hey, I mean, there are a thousand and one ideas. But simply the adjustable length, okay, doubled over around the tree and then you put the toggle. Now let's talk about the toggle for just a second. The toggle does not have to be attached, okay? It can simply be a stick off the ground. 
Yeah, I'm just going to pick up something for a demonstration. You'd want it to be a green stick. You'd want it to be uh, at least finger thickness. But what you're going to do is you're simply going to come up and this end is going to be a loop. Okay? You come up and make a loop. You go through it and you stick the toggle in place. And then you pull it tight and it works much like a marline spike. The advantage to this though is then you can take the loose end and pull it and get it to roll around to pull it tighter. Unlike a marline spike, which is a given locked position, it's a given size. This is adjustable sized. So I can just put it up there and it does the same job by pulling it up there, but I've got the ability to pull it tighter and cinch it up more. But this can be just a stick. It does not have to be attached. It's handy to have it attached, but it is not absolutely got to have. You could use a tent stake. Um, one young lady was demonstrating how she is going to use it with the steel little small shepherd's hook tent stake where she hooked it to the tree and used it like a marline spike to hold it and then was able to pull it tighter than she could get it could be able to get it with a marline spike and have it much more secure for what she was doing absolutely it works now let's talk about that ridge line a minute now I made up this ridge line uh, and several people have asked about this. All right, for those that don't remember, I tied a bowline. I have a Prusik knot that is held in on with the bank line and then a soft shackle. I have another one and a soft shackle. And then I just have a Prusik knot of bank line and then I have a toggle. The object of the game is you go up to the tree, pass the whole thing back around through itself anchor the first tree you would then leave the two tarp connectors grab the toggle and the bowline of the uh, prusik and walk to the other tree go around the tree leaving the prusik uphill reach up hook to it and pull it and have a way to secure it on that end quite a few people ask could i change that out and could i put a one of those crazy nine connectors on there absolutely you can in fact i had two of the small crazy nine connectors got a hundred pound uh, breaking limit and i made up a ridge line for mrs blackie that way because she doesn't want to know any knot at all you know i want to just wrap it around and pull it tight and so she was able to in the front yard get out there and put up her own ridge line something she struggled with even though she's been with me all these years why does she have to learn to tie a knot she's got me and so, in a quest for independence, we have created her a ridge line now that she doesn't need me. She can put that ridge line up by herself. She understands how to set the tarp up. It's just tying it was the question. Well, that eliminated that. And by me taking the sliding uh, that I had before that's hooked by a bank line already to the tent stake, now she has adjustable guy lines where she don't even have to tie them. So she can set it up herself. The other question that many of you brought up. Okay, here's the other question. Since I tie that bowline on this end, they said, could they make that into simply a marline spike hitch? And that's exactly what I've done here. I've simply taken the loop, gone around a tree, and then stuck a toggle into it, a stick off the ground, to act as a marline spike. That's one of the reasons I like that bowline, for that very reason. I can come around the tree and make it into a timber hitch if I want to. I can come around the tree and hook it with a stick like this to be a marline spike hitch. I could also put a separate toggle sliding on the line right here to do this, like I talked about on the other end. Simply have a toggle right here that I could hook and have a prefixed marline spike. That's exactly what you can do if you want to. Now, as you see, you go down the line, we have the next tarp connector the next tarp connector and then the way that it actually hooks at the tree itself. Let me zoom in and get that a little bit better. Okay, here is the Prusik knot. And all this is is now just the toggle has been turned through that loop just like that. Okay, and then 
it is pulled tight, just like that. That allows the friction of that knot to be pinched between the bank line and the uh, paracord. So the two are pinched right there. All I gotta do is just turn that to unlock it, and then my excess cord can be just shoved up right there and tucked around by the side. Works just fine, just like that. So, with just a little bit of line and a little bit of know-how, it's unlocking a huge area. Um, when I stumbled upon this, I was more interested in this, okay? This is what I had been kind of mentally arguing myself with on how to make this for a while. And when I finally figured out in my own mind how to do it, I made it. And when I produced the video, I said, I don't know if there's a fancy name for it, but this. And I had a gentleman contact me and say, or, or comment and said that it's used with horses, that this is the neck rope that goes around a horse in some sort of rig that I'm not familiar with. But my experience with horses had never used such a thing. That don't mean it don't exist. It just, I wasn't that kind of horse guy. Uh, uh, McClellan saddles and old surplus stuff is what I had. I didn't have any fancy stuff, especially no ceremonial stuff. But I'm sure it's got some sort of use for that. But by taking this and simply making an adjustable, could I make it into a ridge line? Yes. If you want to make two connectors, of some form that I can put around the tree and hook? Yes. Can I make my ridge line adjustable in length without having to coil it or nothing? Because this doesn't get coiled up like this. Yes. Could I make it into a cinch strap to hold my gear? Yes. All you gotta do is just pass around, put the toggle through like that. You've got a loop there and all you gotta do is pull to take up the excess slack and you can cinch it down tight and like take the bedroll, the big jacket, the whatever, and cinch it up to put it in the canoe or put it on the ATV or whatever and have a quick detached pop. It's loose, but it's still set to that size. So when I come back to it, I got to put it, I ain't got to start from scratch. Just pull it up tight and, and I'm good. Quick and easy. I'm a big fan of quick and easy. Um, one of the things that makes going out such a hassle when you're going out to try to enjoy um, the great outdoors is the little details that you have to do. It's not because you want to do it, but you got to do it. You have to tie that knot just a certain way or your tarp's gonna fall down. And you gotta tie that hammock knot just a certain way or you're gonna be asleep and the hammock's gonna let go. You've gotta do this, you've gotta do that. Or you get there and find out that piece of gear that you thought was secure wasn't secure and now you lost it. Now you gotta go back and try to find it. It's those little headaches that are just, it just robs the fun out of it because you're more worried about what you're going to lose this trip or what they've got to do now. And get out and enjoy it. These, these skills are simple to learn, something you can easily practice at home. You know, I've got a good friend of mine that they learn by doing. And so they were having a real problem learning to do the trucker's knot. So set up in his dining room between two chairs he practiced tying trucker's knots. He'd watch TV and while he's doing it, he'd tie that knot. When you could do it and not have to think about it anymore, you know it, you own it. So you gotta practice, you gotta train your fingers, train your mind to this muscle action of how it's supposed to be. That's a big advantage, especially when you ain't got no light. For whatever reason, you've had to move, move out, gotta do something in the dark and you don't have any light and I've got to rig up this cord to do X. I can do it in the dark because my fingers are trained to it now. They know what to do. And so the same thing with this ridge line. It's meant to make our lives so much easier. It's a quick deploy ridge line that I can make up, keep in my haversack. And when I get there, pull out my tarp and I know how that ridge line is gonna go up. Just boop, 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 I'm done. And that extra, is bound up at the end. It's not laying on the ground. I'm gonna trip on it, gonna get in all kinds of stuff. Okay, now we gotta break camp because we gotta be back at work and blah, 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 and it's a bird's nest. No, I just spoil it back up like I showed you before. And that makes life so much easier. The applying a toggle or not. I like the idea of using a toggle off the ground when it's convenient because all of these things that we're talking about 
you can generate in the field if you've got cordage. And that's what I'm trying to pass on to you is this knowledge of how to build it. Because you're going to have Murphy with you, whether you like it or not. You're going to lose that ridge line. It's, unless it's you know duct taped to the tarp, you're going to have that time, you're going to pull it out, and you're going to be missing that ridge line for whatever reason. Left it in the house, left it in the car, left it up where you took the tarp off and you folded it up, put the tarp in the bag and walked off and left your ridge line hanging there. Guilty. I was on a 20 mile hike one time and about eight miles where we stopped the first night and I had two companions, they loved, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's make mount, let's make some miles. And so they woke me up, they're already done eating, we're ready to go, get up, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. And so I'm blindly trying to throw everything together and I pull my tarp off, I folded my tarp up, I put it in the top of my pack, one of them's handing me something to eat, let's go, let's go, the other one's already leaving. And so I grabbed my pack and I went. And we got to the next stopping point, oh, about eight more miles on, guess what? Blackie didn't have a ridge line because he left it hanging back there between them two trees. Am I gonna make a 16 mile loop to go get it? No, I had to make up, luckily I had cordage, but it taught me something. I want ridge lines to be bright colors so I can see them too. I want them to be something that I could reproduce in the field if I had to, if I have to sacrifice it for whatever reason. I want to be able to reproduce it. And the knowledge of how to tie the quick shackles, how to tie the Prusik knots, how to tie the other connectors, that's what you want to learn. Because down the line, you may have to do it, or may want to do it. And that's the big advantage of woodscraft, is the knowledge. It's just another tool to add into your box. Hope this gives you some ideas, guys. Please leave any questions or comments. And thank you very much for all the information you've shared with me. The information where you've showed me other people's videos of making stuff with toggles and et cetera. That's been a big help. I, a lot of them I were not aware of ahead of time, but now I do know this is a, a bigger thing than I thought it was. Everybody seems to know about this. I'm always the last one to figure it out. Till next time, guys, I'm Blackie wishing you safe journeys. Have a great day, guys.